I'm Jack Tomczak. That's Andrew Lee. Good morning. Good morning. That is Samantha Sansevier, our show's producer. Just doing a bang-up job in there. Just, uh, and by bang-up, I mean she's banging all the yeah, buttons, just, uh, mashing no, them frantically plug that to try in. to get us on the air. Mm -hmm. Here's what I find amazing, and I, oh again, God, I, I didn't, no uh, I don't, uh, <laughs> I have zero radio training, and when people have tried to give me advice on how to do it, I've ignored them. Yeah, no, I've tried. Uh, what? <laughs> Come again? But I don't understand I why Lump, after but, every show, unplugs everything, wraps them up with twisty ties, <laughs> and puts right. them away in boxes. And then pours coffee all over the board. It just seems like a bizarre thing I know, to do. It's but weird, then you got to start over every morning. It's a weird ritual. And what's move. funny is, like, she can't hear anything we're saying right now. That's because... She's frantically running she's around She's looking for the headphones. Here, here's what, Where did I pack those away yesterday? Here's what normally happens. I usually get here first. Mm -hmm. And I park myself in the studio. And I set the board up. And I, you know print up my news bag and everything. But lately, instead of doing that, you know, I realized I can just come in here and get set up and I can print my news bag in here and Sam can take care of all of that can stuff. Can she though, Andrew? Can she? I'm, can she take I'm care of those things? I'm beginning to wonder. <laughs> if... I can. It's just... I just don't. <laughs> I choose not to. I just choose to fail. I can. <laughs> like if I, I know, wanted to. Like I know how to push the right buttons. It's just a matter of doing. I just, I've 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 spoiled her a little bit. I think you, you know, have I've, spoiled I've, me. I've done these things for her for a long time. Not for her, but just because I'm here first. Uh huh. So uh -huh. I just get them done. Not right. not. My my thought process isn't I need to take care of this force. No, I I, I, <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> it's actually just force of habit because I've done it for so many years. Yeah. One of uh, one of the things that Lump routinely does that makes this show not as good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my lo my lovely wife. Also I don't. This is like my least favorite first segment. Also ever. does at home, and that's not plugging in her iPad. Oh her yeah. Phone, and yeah. My wife yeah. doesn't do it, and and yesterday that caused me problems. I'm As I tried to, to take a nap and I tried to, you know, have the iPad parent hug nugget for a bit. And hug nugget mm. pushed me every one minute. iPad's still not working. iPad's still not working. Mm. And all because my wife just doesn't plug things in because I have over the last however long we've had technology right. and a relationship with her plugged you've things been the in guy, for yeah, her. You've yeah. been the guy who makes their makes sure things are charged. So now uh yeah. she doesn't even know how. <laughs> and I think she has forgotten what electricity is. So don't help people because they just become reliant on you, and then when you don't want to, there's do a it lesson anymore, there. There is a lesson. There's a there. lesson there. Vote for Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> don't create a system of dependency. Mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. that I I would have been fine with uh, you know frantically turning on the buttons, but then my headphones weren't plugged in and they were in like a tiny knot. Oh, that's the Andrew special. <laughs> Thanks. He Andrew. throws curveballs. <laughs> Thank you. That wasn't that. me. That's I what bet he does. must have come in here and done that. It was that like wasn't a, me. It was he like, thinks it'll it make us better. Up or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tomorrow, you're not going to have a chair. Well, my computer's not working. I don't have my phone. No run sheet in front of me, so I'm just going to make up what we're doing today. We have like 8,000 guests on the show At today. 7.15, Senator Dave Osmek coming in to talk about paid family leave. Laura Correct. Sturdivant with the I Star have the Tribune. run sheet in front of me. We'll see if I can do All it. All right, here we go. Laura Sturdivant with the Star Tribune has a, uh, has a piece, and I invited her on today, but she is uh, out of the office until She's never coming on. Then at 8, Jeff Johnson and Jennifer Niska with the Marco Rubio campaign here in Minnesota are going to call in to talk about caucus night, when that is, what the, you need to do, and why you should be voting for Marco Rubio, caucusing for Marco Rubio. At 8.15... What if I don't want to? Well, then you don't. I don't think you have to. I feel pressure. Former chair of the RNC, Ed Gillespie, calling in. We're going to talk about carbon tax. There's mm -hmm. a... Uh, uh, it was cap and trade, and we've got Obama's clean power plan that the court has ruled, uh, has decided that uh, there's going to be a stay on that. And even though Justice Scalia is no longer with us, that stay is staying. Mm -hmm. And we'll find out from, uh, from Ed Gillespie, there are conservatives and Republicans who say that pres the presidential candidates need to embrace a carbon tax. Uh, he is saying that that is a terrible idea, and we'll get into why he thinks that. Then, one more. At the end of the show... It's another guest. Mm -hmm. Is it a phoner? Come on, I... Son of a gun! 
Senator Michelle Benson. Oh, Senator Michelle Benson, talk about uh, a little-known wrinkle in Minshear that may take your house away from you. Yeah, I have gotten more people asking if we're going to cover this story than I can remember for any story in in the last couple of years, even. Wow. Uh, more people emailing or posting on social media, sending it to me via Twitter or through the Twin Cities News Talk Facebook page of, are you guys going to cover this? Are you guys going to cover this? More people have asked me about this than any story that I can remember huh. for the last several years. Basically, the headline is that... We'll be sure to a, squeeze it in at the end then. <laughs> yeah, right. Listen to the last 10 minutes. Yeah, seven. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, there's a little wrinkle in, uh, in Minshore, Minnesota Care, where they can levy uh, fines against your estate after you've passed away. Yeah. And it's in there. And so, it's, I mean, it's public knowledge, but it's not something that they uh, they make it a point to tell you about. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, they're not very transparent about it. So they, there's a story of this couple up uh, in the Duluth area that – they're poor, they have, but they have no debt. Mm-hmm. Like they make it a point to live debt free, but they are low income. And the way the system works, you know, it just puts you in whatever program it deems the most appropriate. You're not, you're not necessarily presented with a menu of options of all right, here's all the programs you qualify for, take your pick. It just puts you in whatever program it deems the most appropriate. So put them into a Minnesota care pro or, or medical assistance, Minnesota's version of Medicaid. And they've been on it for a while now, and now they found out they've racked up like thirteen thousand dollars worth of debt mm-hmm. that is going to be levied upon their estate. We'll get to that in two and a half hours. Don't move. Stay right where you are and listen. Michelle Benson Freeze. joining us over the phone. <laughs> Check out the up and down blog at TwinCitiesNewsTalk.com for a video we did yesterday mm-hmm. uh, that rips on the idiot lefty folks on Twitter who are uh, uh, who spent the weekend saying dumb, saying dumb things about the passing of Justice Scalia, and that's all I got. That's all you got? I I could have had more stuff written down, but I'm flying blind right now. <laughs> when we return, the president is coming in studio, right? <laughs> don't, don't, maybe. Maybe. You maybe. never know. We don't I mean, know. Yeah, yeah we don't know The only way won't. to find out is to keep listening. Andrew, what's yeah. the top of the news bag? Uh, all sorts of stuff. The uh, Senate, GOP, and Republicans, uh, child care and child care providers are asking Dayton to halt the union election. I've got a follow-up on that uh, Plymouth shooting oh. that we talked about yesterday as well. All that and more when we return.